Hi, my name is Aphrodite, and I will be presenting our work on Minimax Demographic Group Fairness in Federated Learning. This is a joint work with Natalia Martinez, Martin Bertrand, Guillermo Sapir, and Miguel Rodriguez. This work is motivated by the fact that group fairness has been well studied in machine learning settings where the data for training a model is gathered in a single entity. However, in settings such as federated learning, the data from different demographic groups is spread across multiple entities and cannot be shared directly. These entities, that are also called clients, could be, for instance, different devices, user devices, or organization with different geolocations. For example, consider a scenario where multiple hospitals want to collaborate in order to learn a diagnostic model that is fair across different demographic groups. During the training process, some of the hospitals might have data only from particular demographics. This might be, for example, because um, they serve different individuals in particular geolocations. Also, its hospital might not be able to share their own data directly with other due to legal, uh, due to legal or regulatory challenges such as uh, GDPR. This is a common scenario where federated learning is deployed. The training process is coordinated by a server that at each iteration, the server sends a global model to the clients and receives focused updates from them. These updates are not their raw data since they cannot share it. And the server uses uh, the, the updates to produce the new model. This learning setup and learning, uh, allows clients with limited local training data to learn better, better machine learning models. Existing fairness approaches federated learning focus on exhibiting different performance guarantees across clients participating in the federation or for local groups within client datasets. However, clients might have no representation from certain demographics, certain uh, sensitive groups during the, uh, the training phase, which means that within client approaches cannot ensure fairness. Also, optimizing for client fairness does not necessarily imply that the final model will guarantee group fairness. In this work, we formulate Minimax Pareto um, group fairness for federated learning settings. We develop a framework also that supports scenarios where clients might have no data from uh, some demographics. We saw uh, conditions under which group fairness is equivalent to the notion of client fairness. We proposed with Minmax, an algorithm for solving the proposed problem. And finally, we proved that the proposed algorithm has performance guarantees akin to those of centralized Minmax group fair algorithms. In our problem, we consider four variables. The input X, outcome Y, demographic groups A, and the clients participating in the Federation K. Given a loss function and hypothesis class, our goal is to ensure Minimax group fairness, which is defined in centralized machine learning settings as a minimization of the expected worst group risk. We assume a convex loss function and a convex hypothesis class because these allow us uh, to solve Minimax group fairness as a linear weighting problem. We constrain the weighting coefficients mu to be larger than epsilon to allow properly Pareto optimal solutions. Else, if we let epsilon to be equal to zero, then equality becomes an equality. And allowing zero values may lead to models that are weakly Pareto optimal instead. We transform this objective into a problem where the estimated group losses are split into multiple estimators, and these estimators are associated with clients. We use importance weights to incorporate the role of each client in our problem. Next, we provide conditions under which group fairness and client fairness are equivalent. To do so, we assume that the distribution of the input and target variables that is conditioned on the groups is common across clients. However, our modeling assumptions still allow for the distribution of the demographics to depend on the client. This means that we still allow clients to have high, low, or no representation of particular demographics. 
we saw that client and group fairness are equivalent. If given a matrix whose entry uh, denotes the prior of a particular group A in client K, the simplex sub uh, subset contains the minimax weighting vector. This could happen, for example, if uh, the matrix contains the identity block. In that case, its sensitive group denotes a client, or if at least a client group prior is equal to the group minimax weighting coefficient. When these conditions hold, we can optimize for any of the both uh, of the two notions and end up with a model that is both client and group fair. We also provide a single solver for the repose problem. Our problem can be seen as an adversarial game between two players. One player is a learner that aims to minimize the objective by optimizing the model parameter theta, and the other player is the adversary that tries to maximize the objective by optimizing the weighting coefficients mu. In each round, the clients receive the latest model's parameter theta, and they perform a gradient descent step. They use all their available data. Then they send the updated model parameters along with certain empirical risks to the server. The server produces the next model by calculating the weighted average of the received, uh, of the received model parameters and updates the weighting coefficient using a projected gradient of sense step. We also prove that given identical input parameters, the solution produced by our proposed method, FedMinMax, is equivalent to the ones produced by the respective group fair algorithm in centralized settings. This way, we can leverage existing convergence guarantees that involve alternating between projected gradient ascent and gradient descent, um, such as the ones proposed by Shen. Recall that we consider a convex hypothesis class, not a convex vector space. Even though we describe the empirical objective and our algorithm using the vector of parameter theta for convenience. We run experiments in three federated learning settings that have different group heterogeneity levels. These are equal access to sensitive groups, where all clients has ac uh, have access to all sensitive groups, partial access to sensitive groups, where each client holds only a subset of groups, access to single sensitive group, where each client has access only to one group. The Federation consists of 40 clients, and we benchmark our work against AFL, Q-Federated Averaging, and TERN, which are client fairness approaches. We also use Federated Averaging as a baseline, and we develop a centralized minimax baseline, which is a variation of our algorithm where one client holds all the data, and we use it to compare um, our results against centralized machine learning settings. Finally, we use local fed minimax, again, an extension of our algorithm that optimizes for its local group rather than global ones, as we do, to experimentally compare against within client group fairness. Next, we examine the errors and risks of the worst and best groups for the adult fashion MNIST, Cypher 10, and ACS employment, uh, employment datasets. We plot the mean and standard deviation of the metrics uh, on the respective test sets. And the results indicate uh, that Fed minimax yields the same solution to the centralized machine learning approach, validating Lima 2. AFL performance is comparable to Fed minimax only in scenarios where client has a client has access to a single group, uh, to a single group as established in Lima 1. QFED AVG in turn have superior performance on the worst group compared to AFL federated averaging um, in PSG and ESG for most data sets. However, they never achieve minimax group fairness on any of the federated learning settings. We also saw the advantages of considering global demographics instead of uh, multiple local ones by comparing global um, group fairness and within client group fairness. Here we use a small federation of 10 clients and a large federation of 40 clients for the comparison. The table we present uh, in the table we present the mean and standard deviation of the worst group risks 
achieved by the two approaches. And the highlighted values uh, indicate the worst performance in terms of risk. The results show that both approaches have similar performance when clients have access to only one group and achieve also same results in the small federation of 10 clients when clients have equal access to all sensitive groups. On the remaining settings, local Fed minimax leads uh, to a largest worst group risk as the number of cl uh, client increases and the number of data for its group per client reduces. And this is because it assumes that each local demographic group is unique, uh, even if there are similar same groups um, in other clients. Our approach is not affected by the local group representations since, uh, since it aggregates the statistics by its client and updates the weights for global demographics. This uh, leads to a better generalization of our approach. To conclude, in this work, we formulated Minimax demographic group fairness in federated learning settings. We formally showed conditions where the notion of client fairness is equivalent to the notion of group fairness. The, this way, optimizing any of the two notions results into a model that is both group and client fair. We provided an algorithm that yields the same results akin to a centralized machine learning algorithm and is suitable for scenarios where clients have access to a subset of groups during the training phase, but not necessarily the testing phase. Finally, we experimentally validated that our methods uh, compares favor uh, favorably to other approaches. Thank you.